Hello and welcome back to another Jeep review, this time looking at Chili's water bottles. That's not a water bottle, we'll come to that in a second. So, this one was bought for Kate, this one's for myself, this one is called the All Black. We went for the same styling on the outside of the cylinder that it comes in, and Kate's gone for the leopard print motif, Chili's branding in nice bold letters on the side, very high end, or at least they're going for that look. They're looking a little bit like whiskey bottles, I think with this this label and this kind of the style and the cardboard packaging, um, going for the, no, this is a monochrome black edition, both 750 mils. They talk about them on the front, so the Chili's bottle, 24 hours cold, 12 hours hot, leak proof, they haven't leaked yet. And our mission to accelerate adoption and everyday use of reusable products. This is a reusable product, isn't it? not black made of plastic. All our products are specifically designed to, for an active urban lifestyle. I live in the country, so hopefully they'll suit me. With the perfect balance of distinctive style and unrivaled performance. Okay, then the usual hashtag Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Which is recyclable packaging, always good to know. So yeah, motifs on the outside follow through to the bottles which are on the inside. Before we get onto that though, I bought this reed diffuser the other day while we were having a walk in chat with the gardens. What's really weird is on the back, so caution, do not take internally. If you've drank a reed diffuser, do comment below. It'll be interesting. Keep out the reach of children and pets, obviously. In case of skin or eye contact, wash with soap and water. I wouldn't put soap in your eyes. One can only assume that that's going to make it worse. So, I don't know if because it's a Chinese wallpaper edition, when it's supposed to be kind of sound like it's translated from Chinese, but eye contact wash with soap and water. I think they need to rethink those instructions. So, another one, however, looking at Balenciaga the other day. I heard about the brand quite a few times on one of the podcasts I listened to as a guest appearance from the James Max ex BBC. Uh, apprentice contestant, uh, financial specialist of, of sorts, um, an all-round entertaining chap. He always mentioned Balenciagas, where he keeps his Balenciagas, etc. And it seems they're a luxury Spanish shoe people. And so I took a look, and straight away you go on the website, and up pops the light box. Now I'm not criticising anybody, I've got no right to criticise anybody's looks. But the model they chose is completely terrifying. It'd be perfect for kind of patrolling the border between East and West Germany, but it wouldn't stick him on the front of a luxury clothing brand, or at least I wouldn't. Maybe that's why, maybe it was the right decision, but just to kind of illustrate it, let's stick him across the front of this video now for the next 10 seconds and see what you think. So while we're looking at these with our German friend, or it could be Swedish, let's just take the lids off of our whiskey bottles. These have been open before, this isn't an unboxing thing. As you would expect from the black edition, it is all black, bar this nice logo detail which has obviously been etched out with the aluminium, and it's showing the aluminium underneath. Same for the details there, which is this Chili 750ml, established 2010. Same underneath as well, this one has the Chili's logo there, not so noticeable. And the cool leopard print, because Kate loves leopard print. So the other thing you won't probably won't be able to see on here, I'll try and get a photo of it, is you can see where the wrap has actually been fused to the bottle. So you can see lines. You've got the one straight line, which you probably can't see, which is where the, the pattern is fused on, just doesn't really match. But then all down here, you can see we've obviously wrapped it around the bottle and then the heat has, must have fused it. I personally would have colour coded the lid as well. I don't think the, uh, I don't think the, the, the stainless steel chrome, whatever it is, goes just to kind of illustrate that. So if you go for a darker one, personally I think that looks better as an all-in-one, but then at the same time, I've seen them using it over the over few that you do get over the past few days, you do get used to it and it does actually, it does look pretty cool to be honest. I'm getting a bit of a snob now in terms of I won't drink tea out of anything other than a china cup. I'd say I won't, I, I do if someone makes it for me, but generally if I'm making a tea, it has to be freshly boiled water, it has to be 
in a china cup just so it's cute in the heat so the keeping cold things cold and the hot things hot is actually also really nice because you put cold water in and you take the lid off an hour later it's not gone to room temperature it's still cold and that is just a nice luxury to have they were quite expensive i think this one's 30 pounds with delivery this was 25 or 27 with delivery so a bit of an expensive water bottle and there are probably other products on the market that do the same but you could say that about anything if you're buying you know you are buying into a bit of a brand you are buying into it you know the quality as well but um it's quite nice to have i'm i'm, I'm not dissatisfied with my purchase but i do understand there would be cheaper options in the market now did say 12 hours hot and 24 hours cold. It is now five past eight, so this is 12 and a half hours hot, or 12 hours and 35 minutes, because at 7.30 this morning, I made a mince tea in my black bottle. Here's the cup, which is a lovely little Sarah Miller Port Merion, which I bought cake for Mother's Day, set of two when we have little coffee meetings in work. So in here is a mint tea made 12 and a half hours ago. And it's absolutely piping hot. The results speak for themselves. So it's a bit strong because I've got two mint tea bags brewing away. Because there were two mint tea bags brewing away in there for 12 and a half hours, so it is quite strong, but it's absolutely piping. So, if you wanted, to, I don't know if you're allowed to put soup, I mean, you're allowed to put whatever you want to your bottle in my room. In. I don't know if you can put soup and things in it, but generally, if you do, it's going to keep it hot for 12 13 hours. So, yeah, very impressed. Hmm. Hmm. No pinky, unless you've got, it's uh, marked that you have syphilis, apparently, according to the expert etiquette coach, William Hansen. So no pinky, pinky's down. See you next time. Okay, so this is just a little postscript for the Chili's water bottle review that I did the other day. And, you know, excuse the coat. I was bathing the wee ones tonight and my shirt got rather wet and rather than doing a, a, a horrendous topless thing, which nobody wants, I thought I'd put this old horse coat on, which has some very cold zips, actually. Um, so one feature of the Chili's water bottle I forgot to mention um, since dropping it is that it dents quite easily. So I've, I've dropped Kate's and dented the lid and I've dropped mine and dented the bottom so that it now looks uh, rocks back and forth, as you can see, like a big black bowling pin. Um, which is a bit annoying if you think it would be a bit stronger than that, but it's not. One of the philosophies that I have is that if you can't afford it, then don't buy it, or if you can't afford to, to break it, or you're constantly worrying about it getting dinted, damaged, scratched, or, or ruined by a child or, or, or somebody else, then, then, then it's not worth having because you won't enjoy it properly. So I'm not, it's not going to ruin my enjoyment, but I thought to pass on that it, it does dent pretty easily, and then now it wobbles, and it just feels like it's going to get knocked over much easier, and, and it's pretty, it feels like it should be, pretty more robust than that especially especially for the price so i thought i'd just share that with you don't forget to watch subscribe and share